Hey Stampers, it's Gaina again. Uh, oh, I've been having a play with this new set. Oh my gosh. It's new to me because I haven't played with it. So I'll just grab this set to show you. Oh, it is a Serene Garden. Oh, what a beautiful stamp set. And I had my first play with it last night. Just absolutely gorgeous. I'm also using this sentiment that says, I love you. And it's from... Oh, I don't know what. Oh, where's my other set gone? <laughs> Where's it going? I've lost it. It's from... <laughs> oh, Detailed with Love. So I'm just using the I Love You for the sentiment. But what a gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set. And I'm also using my Stamparatus. Only because I want to line things up lovely. But look at this beautiful card. I've added Wink Stella to the Dove. This one and the flowers. I've only added it to one. I might add it to the other one as well. Oh, look at that. And to the beautiful flowers. And the stems. It's just it's beautiful. I love it. And it just says, I love you. And I've uh, stamped one inside with these beautiful sprigs of leaves as well, I would call them. Just to decorate the top and the bottom. And you've got plenty of space to write your message. Look how cute it is. But then also I've noticed with this set, you can vibrantly colour it in with your markers and you've got a fun cheeky card as well. So I'm going to show you this version. Or should we do a fun, or should we do a, a, a jazz dot version and all funky colours? Oh, I don't know. We'll stick to this one. I love it. I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to pop that there out of the way. I have got a couple of my bits on my Stamparatus. Love this thing now. I'm getting used to this. Using this quite a lot. And I can lift it up. Oh my gosh. That was a bit awkward then. I have my thing in place. And I'm going to pop my top plate on. Woo! These magnets are absolutely brilliant. So I have used thick Whisper White. Eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, just scored it in half ready, and I've done that on the scoreboard. So I'll burnish that when I can find me. Bone folder, just gonna burnish both sides. I've used a piece of old olive then to cover this, which is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths, and then this is five and three eighths by three and five eighths. Just so you can see that nice border all the way round. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to pop them to one side. You want to make sure I keep, because of the photopolymer, you've got the shim. I also keep my instructions underneath. I've seen a few ladies do this and it does really work well. So I've got to pop this in my magnet. What I'm going to do, I'm going to reposition that because I cut my other piece down after I stamped but I'm not going to do that this time I'm just going to stamp it in the right place so I'm lining up these lines here and here so they're right on the edge and they're against this edge as well I want to see them this time oh my gosh let's right let's pick this up And then push everything back in its corner because it keeps moving. It's because it's a new stamp set and I don't know how you get that stickiness off there. But, uh, right, I've lost my inks as well now. <laughs> Here goes. I'm using soft sea foam to stamp. I want a nice subtle colour. Not too pale. But not too dark either, so... with this as well you can always go over and stamp it again oh now is that in the right place making sure seems to have no it's not it's perfect you can, you can always check see and then there we go oh look at that beautiful absolutely stunning so I'm going to get my cleaning cloth because I'm going to clean as I go along, as you know I do. I'm going 
going to move my magnet, pop it down here. I'm going to remove this now. And I want to position this little leaf in the corner. It's only because I'm terrible and I don't want to put my head in anything. So I'm pushing that right up against there. Coming over and picking that up. And then I can ink that. Look at me, I'm a mocky pup. I've got it all over my window. I know it won't transfer, but... down. Oh that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And now I'm going to pop it in the next corner. They're quite sticky when they're new I find. And you'll see in a minute I've actually cut my stamp apart <laughs> and you're going to be going what <laughs> yeah I have the flower I just wanted the head of it so I've taken it it will don't worry it will all go back together once I put it on a block so I don't advise you do that because you'll lose your warranty I don't mind because I know this is what I can do and look, if I wanted to trim a little bit more off there, I could, but I'm not going to. I think they're positioned beautifully. Absolutely stunning. So I'm going to remove this little piece now. And then this is the flower. And it had a tail on it. Let me see if I can show you. They're stuck to my case now. i just put them back inside. There it is, look. I have detached it from its uh, stalk. So, I know I could ink it up and then, what you call it, wipe off the tail, but I just thought it's easier to take it off and then I could always go back to it later. So, I'm going to place my flower now and I'm going to do this in several areas. I'm going to try and come in a little bit closer to this one. I know I could do this with a block, but I just love you using the Stamparatus for some reason at the moment. It's, woo, it's lush. It's absolutely lush. And what a subtle blend. Oh, it's not gorgeous. So I'm going to wipe it clean again, and I'm going to reposition. And what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to pull it out a little bit. I want the I'm just going to have the back of this show in here. And as long as I pick that up gently. My paper didn't move, see? Okay, now all over this plate. <laughs> I just make sure I ink that properly. It is better to do it with the inking spots um, if you've got them. But uh, I would have had to get a new, uh, a, bl a blank one, top it up with soft sea foam, it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, wipe it one more time because I'm going to come in from this side as well, I just love having a play, and what a great tool to have, the stamp positioner is fantastic, so the stamp apparatus for me it wins hands down. I mean, I could have had all bits on different plates and turned everything around, had everything lined up, but who wants to see all that? And I bet you're all shouting, me! <laughs> oh, that is just divine. So, and another thing, get rid of that now. I'm going to get my I Love You, because I want this perfect. I want to make sure it's not upside down. So we've got grid lines, see? I can pick that up, open this out, and you, we've got really faint grid lines. So what I'll do is I'll put my my green behind it to see if you can see. And I can line that up to make sure my words are perfectly straight. Because I can line them up on that bottom line there, more or less anyway. But it gives me 
something to look at. Sorry about that. Let me just see if I can pull you in. See what I mean? We've got grid lines. Can you see them just faint? But that lines that up for me. And I'm going to close this because I want my old olive. I want the sentiment to stand out and pop a little bit more. So I'm going to use my old olive. I'm just going to give that a little touch. And not only that, with this stamp positioner. Oh, look at that. Perfection. It's lined up beautifully. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be using this from now on probably as many times as I can. Just perfection. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove that. That's going back in my detailed with love. It's this sentiment right here. I love it. I love you. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. So that's going over there. Uh, remove my ink. I'm going to come in with the, the bird, but I'm going to be using some Scrap Whisper White for this. I don't need to line it up, so I'm going to remove this from here. I'm going to take one of the plates off, fold this one over, and just, I will store that out of the way in a moment. But I'm going to re return my magnet back onto here. I just love it. Love, 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 love. Right, I'm going to have a look through my scrap. I have got a couple of the birds stamped out. I stamped this one after I cut it out because I made a booboo on the other side just to see. And this one, it's just been done with grey and a bit of wing Costello. Oops, I might use that one. That is absolutely gorgeous. But what a, and this one, I ended up using. Um, did I use my marker pen to finish it off because it didn't stamp properly and I didn't have it in the stamparatus so when I tried to do it twice it come out blurry as if it was like Ugh. so I might use it I might not but I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna see if that fits with my little birdie on where's my little bird gone he's gone missing I've lost the where's the bird gone Oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> I think you're all screaming. Gator, you know it's there. <laughs> what am I like? Where's my bird? And there it is, sitting on my desk. <laughs> oh, I'm a numpty. Just get this. And I'm using um, grey granite. I did what I will use. I don't think this is... Oh, it might just fit. Oh, I should have moved that along. I could have got a couple then. Oh, beautiful. So I'm going to colour this one. I'm going to cut this one out. Yes. So again, a bit of cleaning. I, yeah, I wanted Smoky Slate, but... Mm, and then I spotted the grey granite, so I thought, why not? So I'm going to close those over. Oh, for the inside of my card. Because we've stamped it now. I need my old olive back and that beautiful leaf for the inside. It's just stunning. I don't know whether to add the bird to the inside again. So I'm just lining this up at the bottom. Perfect. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but I'll get a rubber on that now. And I'm going to do this side as well. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Just stunning. And it cleans a breeze with this absorber cloth. It cleans like a breeze. So, look. Should I fetch my bird back? I've just cleaned it, I know, but should I add him? I've got to get that mark off. He's doing my head in. doesn't want to come off. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's better. Use a sand eraser. There we go. That's better. Much better. I don't want the green again for a minute. 
Oh, come on. We're going to do this card. We're going to do it properly. So let's get my little birdie back on here. My grey granite and a scrap piece of paper just to stamp off. Oh, I got a scrap piece right here. Look at that. It's tiny, but it's a scrap piece. So I'm going to stamp off and then off. It's just a faint one, but it adds so much impact to this. It's just beautiful. I suppose I could have left it full strength, but it's subtle in the inside of a card. You should never overpower your insides. So, ting, there goes my little tint. <laughs> oh gosh, you know we're at that bit right now where I love to colour. So we're going to do a bit of colouring. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, how, isn't that just so pretty? We could go out, actually, there's got dyes to this set. And we could cut those out and colour them in and ha have them standing up. So, let me show you. Put that away. My gorgeous flower. Look, see, it will go straight back together for when I want to die cut it with a with a stem these cut the leaves out on this part and these cut the flowers out so and oh there's the die for the birdie which we're going to use in a moment but it cuts these flowers out also so you could lay the layer them on top so let's try we're not going to do that today. We'll do that in a future card, I say, because this stamp set we're going to use a few, fair few times. So let's go back to my, uh, my little bird. And I'm using, I'm going to use this small end. So I'm going to try and decorate this one, just like this one. And I'm just adding flicks of colour. I don't want nothing too strenuous. And I'm coming down the wings. And this is the paler of the greys. Going around these. Just going around them, just to add. And then what we're going to do in a moment, with my Wink of Stella, we are going to blend that, that out. I'm just flicking from the end and you gotta add a shadow around the belly as well. I didn't do that on the other one but how easy was that? Nothing strenuous about that whatsoever. Darkened little beak. I've got to be careful now because my Winker Stella is leaking. Let's have a look. I store them upside down, so that's not too bad. So I'm just adding this beautiful Wink of Stella on this gorgeous birdie. Oh, it's just so cute. And we're just blending that colour out. If you know what I mean. If I had to touch the ink now with that, it would have given me some just beautiful. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Look at that shine. There we go. That's a lot better. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at that. Catching the light now. It's just stunning. Oh, absolutely per perfect. I'm going to leave my scrap here because if I get my pen out and it's leaking, I can dab it on there. So we'll set that to one side for a moment. I'm going to use him again on a different card. Leave those two to dry. And we're going to come in. Oh, wow. And I'm going to have the stems of my flowers. Oh, they're so delicate. And they start down here. And I'm just colouring them. with the darker green. I love the fact that this is just absolutely beautiful. Mm. 
and I'm using a nib end because it's quite delicate and if you press too hard you can get your ink seeping out over the lines and you don't want that oh my dog is dreaming bless her she dreams loads and she yelps and it's, I don't know if she's doing it for because she's having a good dream or she's doing it because she's having a bad dream bless her little soul I just think that is gorgeous look at that I'm going to go over that later with Wink and Stella as well. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So, I'm coming in with the dark pool party. And I'm just going to go over these beautiful flowers. And they're very quick. It's not nothing technical. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to go back over to darken some areas, but we're going to highlight others with another different colour pen in a minute. Oh, I could colour all day long. I love it. So relaxing. Darken this back petal again and in there just inside tops as well but we're going to highlight those in a minute so you can see where it's dried really pale because there we've done it double and here it's dried paler because we only did it one little bit The more you go over your image, the darker it becomes, because you're adding ink all the time. So, now I'm going to go back over the, the back end, flick around the side, and then dip in the centres. Look how pretty. Oh, and then I did this on my card here. I just gently did the, the stamens in a diet slightly darker so what I did is just go down the lines, nothing crazy, crazy, and just follow those lines down into the centre. And that's what I did on all of them. Because stamens aren't pink on a pink flower, they tend to be black, but I didn't want to go too harsh. Oh my word, I love it. So that's the dark pool party. I'm going to come in now just with touches. Oh, I nearly broke my finger. Oh, <laughs> these caps are so hard to get off. And I'm just going to add some highlights. flowers oh, just to emphasize them but I will be settling them down in a moment and you'll be thinking how can she do that watch and see so I'm basically just drawing the outline of these flowers and I didn't do that on the others but I'm adding stamens to these Right, again, using the Winker Stella, which is here, I thought the other one is my old one. I want to make sure, and as you do, this lightens this darker colour. Because it's got a silver tone to it, it pales it down quite a bit once it starts to dry. Again these ones I 
and they will dry a little bit paler. That is just gorgeous. Oh my word. I love this set. It's just beautiful. Right, pink pirouette I'm using now on my gorgeous uh, flowers. And again, nothing special. This is one of the colours that's retired, but like I say, if you've got it, use it. And I'm going over these flowers twice because I want to... The art's lovely and pale, but I don't want... Oh, mind you, I've got a slightly darker colour there. This is the pale one. Let me see what we can do this first. I haven't got any of the new colours apart from Pineapple Punch. I haven't uh, placed an order for a while. Oof. And the last thing I bought was Tropical Chic and my cardstock. And I love that set. Oh my word. Look at that how pale that is, just gorgeous. I'm sorry about the light in here. I'm going to fetch this over. Let me see how much darker the, day, the dark one is. Oh, that's not too bad actually. The nib is a bit knackered. Just adding a bit of colour. And then I'll go back over with the pale one. Oh, I went to my mother-in-law's today. Oh, and watched. She has the grandkids there. Her grandkids. And they had the film on Maleficent. Oh, do you know, I'm so into kids' films. It's unreal. My husband was shouting, are you ready? I was like, yeah, yeah, in a minute, in a minute. I could just sit and watch kids' films all day long. Look how subtle that is and beautiful. So now I'm going to go back in with the pale one and we're going to do some blending just to add that subtleness to there. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, we're going to go over with the Wink of Stella. Even go through those. Where the blue is. Oh, that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I love it. So again, with the Wink of Stella. Just adding some sparkle and shine. It's as if the morning dew has just fell upon those leaves. So much detail, it's beautiful. That is so nice. Love it. Oh, that is just beautiful. Look at that. Look at the subtleness. Oh, just beautiful. Right, that doesn't seem to be dry in that pale, actually, to tell you the truth. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to come in with my white and I'm just going around the outside and that will tone that green down just a little bit perfect and then just clean off your bristles they do stain but they don't transfer any of that colour anywhere else so it's not that detrimental <laughs> so I'm going to put my pens away um, OCD like that <laughs> my pen I don't need that more and more I don't think do I? no that can go away too 
I'm, right, I'm just going to go and cut this gorgeous little bird out and I'll be like, two seconds. Fingers crossed. Oh, I've had more parcels sent today. Um, ready for the next challenge. Oh, God bless you all for getting in there so quickly. I've not even set it yet. And I've got lovely ladies, three beautiful ladies have sent me bundles of cards already. So I'm going to have to set that challenge soon. There we go, look, it cut it out perfectly. Just stunning. I can pop that in my box with my other dies and sentiments. I think my stamp set is complete now. Right, dimensionals. We have large and we have small. We're going to need them. I'm going to flip this birdie over. And I'm going to add one here just for stability and here same on my other one yeah loads of cards loads and loads and loads and where's my pokey tool and then I'm having one on the head and I'm going to have one right at the base of this tail as close down as to the end as I can get it right behind the head let's get this oh I'm gonna attach my card first I don't want to be squashing death stuff down when it's uh, not on there so grab my glue of choice mine is cosmic shimmer acrylic glue for today you don't need a lot of this stuff it's like Tombow it's really good dries pretty quick as well Oops, and I got the wiggle space as well haven't you oh gosh my eyesight's going terrible I couldn't see that against that white background then oh. now we're going to attach our look this is the only thing with the blends I love them but you could only, you've got to put a backing on You could add a ribbon at this stage if you wanted to, but I don't think it needs it. There we go. And I'm just going to turn over and rub from the back, because I don't want to be rubbing anything on there that shouldn't be. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I love that sentiment. I love you. What, look at this. It cut out too. <laughs> I stuck myself. <laughs> I stuck them on a back a piece of paper. It's a good job I noticed that then. Otherwise, and thankfully they're coming off. Um, I have a shim between my boards normally. I've just pulled it out to put um, on top because I didn't want, because my die at the moment, my die plates need replacing. So I've uh, pulled a piece of paper on top because I didn't want any of the bits that are on. I didn't want any of them on to come onto my beautiful, beautiful. So there's one pointing that way. No, this one hasn't got one on. Yeah, so, and we're going to have to do some mirror imaging with this bird because we want it, we'd love one to face it that way. So that's, that, that's going to be another project with another card. So I'm just going to sit that in between those two flowers there. Oh my word, how beautiful. Oh, I love it. And I've got some of these little um, glimmer enamel dots and I'm going to pop I'm going to have one here. I'm having one there. And 
another one in between these two here. I'm coming to the end of these. I love these. So, oh my gosh. Look, see, there's my shim of paper that sits on top of my big shot plates. It's only so we don't... Because I've cut so many dark pieces out lately, they are embedded into the cut plate. And I didn't want any of that embedded... Oh, what's it called? La, 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 la. I didn't want any of that deep paper getting impacted into my little birdie shapes. This one's slightly darker. Uh, the reason for that was because I tried to colour him, or her, could be male and female these, with grey granite. And this one was done with the blends. So this one was done with the, the felt pen. A little bit too dark for my liking. But it turned out beautiful. So this is the one I made yesterday. And I'm showing you how to make today. Just added some more shimmer down there. Oh, I'm forgetting things. Look. I didn't do my stems. Just adding a little bit of shimmer on there. Just to give it some shine and depth. Because anything that's shiny is what we want to look at. Oh, look at that. Just beautiful. Look at those flowers. That gorgeous bird. Well, I hope you like it because I love it. Thumbs up would be fantastic and a share would be ultra amazing. There's the inside of my card. You could pop one of those beautiful little birds on uh, your envelope as well or maybe just stamp the flowers but i hope you enjoyed these are my two cards and as it says on the card i love you i love you all so yeah and if you haven't subscribed yet press the button down here and if you want to see what i make tomorrow then you gotta press the bell and get notified so it'll tell you when i've uploaded so that would be awesome but thanks for stopping by thanks for supporting me like you do i love you all so much and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye.